Aldo breakfast. Tap the grapefruit. Section. Mix the cherry in the middle. French toast. Light brown. Bacon. Trim the fat. Coffee. No cream. Two lumps. Go. On his way, Snacks. Up. Oh, it's Mr. Prevalone. Now, if you call me that from the bank, he's going to come off the works. Yes, Mr. Prevalone. And I'll eat in the yard. I mean, atrium. Yes, Mr. Prevalone. Whatever you say, Mr. Prevalone. You know what atrium means, Anthony? No, sir. It's a courtyard, all times surrounded by cobbles. Thank you, sir. I didn't know that, sir. Park it, Anthony. I learn a new word every day. You should expand your vocabulary, Anthony, and you wouldn't just be a bookkeeper. Accountant, sir. My word for today is expeditious. To be efficient and speedy. All right, Anthony, let's be expeditious. What's so important you got me up at eight? Hey, yeah, come on, kid. I want to sit on my eight tree. Okay. How much you make? 400 a month. How much you want to be making? 1400 a month. You can take a few minutes to think it over. I have done it over. Get the hell off my atrium! Mr. Provolone, it is my honor to ask for your daughter's hand in matrimony. Pardon me? Yes, your daughter is the one I love. My daughter? How do you know my daughter? Automatic Club 33. In a speakeasy? It's a very respectable speakeasy. Couldn't even pick one that bought my beer. Oh. And as for you, you think I'm gonna let you marry my daughter for her money? Mr. Provolone. I don't love your daughter for her money. And I can prove it. Yeah. When I marry her, I plan to give her my entire fortune. How much you gonna goomba like you have? $48,642.30. Now, how did you save 50 grand or 400 a month? I stole it from you. You what? You walk into my house and tell me you stole 50 cheese from me! This gink! You want I should bump him? Give me that gat, although you know what I told you. You're a butler now. But Aldo! What are you calling him for? I think you're gonna need some more bicarbonate. Why? Now keep in mind, Mr. Provolone, this is 1931. We're all sophisticated adults here, right? This doesn't bode well. Your daughter and I are lovers. What? Pop this guy! Wait, boss, we can't have a stiff in the house with company coming. He's right. It ain't proper. The last thing I ever wanted to do was upset you. Why should I be upset? You wake me up in the morning and tell me you're stealing my money and sleeping with my daughter? You guys see anything to be upset about? You're lucky you didn't upset me today. If you didn't upset me like this yesterday, you'd be wearing a cement kimono! You don't have to give me your answer right now. Good! Because I want to talk to my sweet little girl first, Anthony. Let me show you the door. There's the door!